Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and let's start the next mission. Let's, uh, as you can see, more came up, so that's why I always do these in order. Let's find a shuttle. Some of the abducted reploids have seemed to have hijacked an enemy transport plane and have now escaped, but the plane disappeared over the desert. They might have crash-landed in the desert, and so we sent our scouts to look for them. However, our scouts are having difficulties due to the hordes of hostile enemies in the area. I'm sorry, but will you go and help their rescue? Of course I will, since, you know, this is Mega Man Zero, and, well, clearly you guys are useless without me. So, let's, uh, head out here. We have these snake-like enemies that are popping up through the sand. Those birds are annoying. Those guys are annoying when they start firing at us. This is a somewhat lengthy stage, as I remember. Oh, and we have these little, uh, sort of bear trap things, too. You can get a cyber elf by destroying them. And we destroy that thing, and that stops the sand from kind of moving. Another thing is, uh, Zero's saber can... It kind of comes equipped with, like, the shot eraser uh, that can... Oh, two cyber elves at once, thank you. That can uh, take out enemy shots. And I believe there's a cyber elf if we can make our way up there. Oh, yep, there is, but uh, we get trapped by that thing instead. Oh, you... Well, that opened it. So now we just gotta wait for the thing to float down. Thank you. Those birds get really annoying. Some of these missions can be a little bit uh, more varied. So as you've seen so far, we have timed missions. Uh, actually, both of our last missions had a timing aspect to them. This one's going to be a little bit different as well. But I'm not going to spoil it. And we have this weird little tornado thing. You know what? I'll take care of that. So yeah, there's three main elements, fire, electric, and thunder, which you, once you gather the, the correct chips, you can add those attacks to uh, your buster shot or the saber. And most of the enemies and bosses are weak to a certain element. And using the correct element makes this go by really quickly. And this is Anubis Necromancis the third. I wonder what happened to the first and second one. I work for Fefnir, one of the four guardians. Alright, I'm just going to concede to the fact that I'm probably going to pronounce a whole bunch of these names wrong, and let's just go with it. I'm the king of destruction and the ruler of the desert. The reploids you are looking for are deep in the desert. Just beyond me, but besides that. If you wish to rescue them, you need to defeat me first. On guard, old timer. And this was the first boss battle where I actually had uh, some difficulty, and he's not affected by electric, so that doesn't help. As you can tell by my charged electric attack doing no damage to him. But uh, that's okay. He has this attack, which is a very unique attack. Uh, I really approve of that move. And he can summon guys. I don't like you summoning guys.
So yeah, I, I remember getting uh, a handful of game overs on this guy before finally being able to beat him. And that's the kind of design that I do like in the Mega Man games. I like uh, having stages or bosses that I lose to the first time I attempt them, or the first couple times. It makes a good challenge, uh, and to me that's always been a sign of good design in the Mega Man games. Well, let's try that again. And obviously if we run out of retries, well, then uh, we get the game over and then we lose this mission. We might even lose the next mission, because the next mission uh, that unlocks for this area might be based on you doing this successfully. Those spikes up there are not instant death, as yeah, I just demonstrated. So that when, when I found that out, I was uh, I was much more relieved. So when I first saw those spike balls. I'm like, oh gosh, those are instant death spikes. This guy is crazy. And then I think the first time he he killed me with the spikes, uh, I was so low on health that I thought it was I only had a couple bars of health left, and and I thought it was a uh, instant death anyways. And if the wall's crushing you is also just uh, damage. Once again, starting with full health is uh, to our benefit. Now our lives, I believe a trans server will restore our lives up to uh, the normal two resets that we'd start with. Um, so that's a way we can recharge our lives between stages. Then again, that might not be true in this one. It might be true in the later Zero games. I don't know. Like I, like I said, some of the mechanics throughout uh, this series, Zero, One, Two, Three, and 4, kind of blend together in, in my mind. Um, as far as like which weapons we get when we get them, um, uh, things like that. And that's, that's always kind of thrown me off that... This series just never felt that it had like the consistency and the structure uh, that it needed throughout the series, and they, they've changed so much. Now we have to take the survivor back. So this one's uh, a bit different. We now have to go back through the stage. Uh, but before that, there's health. Isn't there a... oh. There's an extra life there. No! And the enemies will try to attack them, uh, and I do believe the soldier can die, so uh, we have a bit of an escort mission. And this is neat because we have... This is like one of the few times where we're actually going backwards through a stage we just went through. So a few things really unique about this stage, and I really like that. I don't appreciate those birds, though. If you get too far ahead of the soldier, he might just... He or she... Whatever. Might just, uh... Give up their will to keep moving on. The goal is to kind of protect their health as much as possible. Ooh, that was a really close. Come on. They can take uh, so much damage before... Ow. No, oh. get away from the bear trap. I tried to tell you. They get hit, they'll cry out for help. You move too far ahead of them, you'll kind of just stop and sit there. So yeah, kind of annoying. I know it's an escort mission, but uh, this is something that we don't get a ton of in the Mega Man universe. 
And so having a little variety like this, it's, it's welcome in my book. So, I'm helping you just try to keep up and dodge something. Hi, I found this person. Zero has brought back a survivor. Hurry and take him to the medic. So right now we're just doing uh, little missions like this. And uh, we'll talk about the overarching plot for this game and the Zero series, well, at some point. Maybe when they hit us with a bunch of plot towards the end of the game. But another comrade has been saved. So one thing I do like about the plot, at least for this game, is that we're, we just woke up from a hundred year nap and we're doing, we're doing like these little helping missions and they're kind of scaling up in, in difficulty and, and their importance. We're going out helping these reploids that are going to be scrapped or, or lost in the desert. And uh, pretty soon we're going to be moving up to fighting the main force that's uh, trying to wipe us out. Or retire us, if we can keep using that lingo. And yeah, I'm likely going to say it sarcastically each time. So uh, that will be all for this part. See you guys in the next video.